now let us discuss about grayback normal form in short we can call it as gnf a cfg is said to be in gnf if the productions are of the form capital a produces small a alpha we know that cfg means context free grammar gnf means grayback normal form so we can say that a cfg is in gnf if the productions are of the form capital a produces small a alpha here capital a means non terminal small a means terminal alpha means zero or one or more number of non terminals okay so if we have a production like this a produces small a so this production is in gnf form why because it is starting with small a and after that we have zero non terminals so let we have a produces small a capital a so this is also a let we have b a produces small a capital b so this is also a valid gnf production so non terminal followed by one non terminal so likewise we can have any number of non terminals after the terminal okay now let us see the steps in order to convert cfg into the gnf so totally we have to follow four steps the first step is simplify the context free grammar so that means if the grammar contains null production uh, that is epsilon production or unit production or if the grammar contains useless symbols or useless productions we have to eliminate all those things so we can call that as simplification or reduction or minimization of the context free grammar second step check whether the grammar is in chomsky normal form or not suppose if it is already in cnf then there is no problem suppose if it is not in cnf then we have to convert the cfg into the cnf so what is the second step we have to check whether the grammar is in chomsky normal form or not so we can perform gnf only when the productions are in chomsky normal form so what is chomsky normal form so we have two rules first rule is a non terminal produces exactly two non terminals so here the non terminal is producing exactly two non terminals and the second rule is non terminal produces a single terminal so these are the two rules for cnf production chomsky normal form production and the third rule is non terminals are replaced by a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 let we have 10 non terminals then they are replaced from a1 to a10 likewise so next rule is if the production is in the form ai implies az beta then we have to check this i and j value suppose if i is less than j then leave the production now initially we have to leave that production if i is less than j after getting az value that means az productions are in gnf after calculating az value that means when az productions are in gn gn gnf form then we have to substitute az in ai so if i is less than j leave the production now and then do the substitution after obtaining az value if i is greater than j then do the substitution immediately now so that means we have to substitute az value in ai and third rule is if i is equal to j that means that production is suffering with left recursion so we have to eliminate the left recursion now let's see an example in order to convert cfg into the gnf now let us convert this context free grammar into the grayback normal form so first we have to check whether it is simplified grammar or not so this grammar doesn't contains any unit productions any epsilon or null productions and yes starting symbol is producing cab and cab productions are defined and a is producing a terminal c is producing a terminal b is producing a terminal so s is producing ca in place of ca we can substitute the terminals so every non terminal is producing the terminals and each non terminal is defined here so there are no useless symbols so this grammar is simplified grammar only and what is the second step check whether it is in chomsky normal form or not what is chomsky normal form each non terminal has to produce exactly two non terminals so here a is producing exactly two non terminals 
and each non terminal has to produce exactly one terminal so these two are nothing but valid chomsky normal form productions if you observe here s is producing exactly two non terminals s is producing exactly two non terminals b is producing exactly one terminal two non terminals one terminal so all the productions are valid chomsky normal form productions only so we can start the process now so now what we have to do is replace this s with replace s with replace s with a1 next to replace here after c s is producing c don't follow in this order s b c a don't follow in that order follow in this order first production order so s is producing c so replace c with a2 next after that we have b s is over after c we have a so replace c a with a3 and after a we have b so follow in that order b with a4 so here what are the non terminals s c a b s c a b don't follow in this order follow in this order so a1 a2 a3 a4 so now we have to replace s with a1 a1 implies c a c a means a2 a3 a2 a3 or b b means a4 a4 b b means a4 a4 next b produces what is b a4 produces small b or s b what is s a1 what is b a4 next c what is c c means a2 so a2 is producing b small b what is a a means a3 a means a3 a3 is producing a so if you see here a1 is producing c a means a2 a3 b b means a4 a4 b means a4 a4 produces b r s b so s b means a1 a4 okay next c a means a2 a3 c a c a means a2 a3 so b a okay now we have to consider the productions one by now so what is the first production consider the first production what is the first production a1 implies a1 produces a2 a3 a2 a3 or a4 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 here i value is this value j value is this value i is equal to 1 j is equal to 2 so what is the relation i is less than j if i is less than j then leave the production now we have to do the substitution after obtaining a2 value okay so now leave the production now leave the production now there is no need of any substitution right right now leave the production now if i is less than j then there is no need to do the substitution right now whereas if i is greater than j then immediately we have to do the substitution next consider the production what is the next production a4 implies we can write this as a1 a4 or b also both are same only a1 a4 a4 implies a1 a4 or b so here what is i value i is nothing but 4 j is nothing but 1 so i is 4 j is 1 so what is the relation now i is greater than j if i is greater than j then we have to do the substitution immediately right now immediately right now we have to do the substitution so what is a1 value a4 implies uh, a1 a1 so what is a1 a1 means these productions so substitute substitute a1 value in we have to substitute a1 value in a4 so what is a1 we have two productions so substitute these productions here so a4 implies what is a1 now a2 a3 a2 a3 and additionally here we have a4 so let us write that a4 or what is a1 a4 a4 in place of a1 write a4 a4 so a4 a4 and additionally we have a4 let us write that a4 or here additionally we have b let us write that b here so now what is i value i is 4 j is 2 i greater than j 4 is greater than j so then what we have to do do the substitution right now do substitution so once again we have to substitute substitute now here we have a2 substitute a2 value in a4 a4 so a4 implies what is a2 a2 is nothing but b so in place of a2 substitute b b a3 or here we don't have a2 what is a2 value b 
B A three. Additionally, we have A four also. A four or let us write A four A four A four as it is, and let us write that B. If you see here, B A three A four. This production is in Drayback normal form. It is starting with terminal. After that, we have two non-terminals. Whereas this is not a varied GNF production. So let us check here. What is I value four? What is A value four? So that means I is equal to J. That means it is suffering with left recursion. So we have to eliminate the left recursion now. Eliminate the left recursion right now. So let us eliminate the left recursion now. So what is left recursion? If the production is in the form A implies A alpha by beta, then replace the production by A implies beta A dash, where A dash implies alpha A dash. So this is the formula here. Here we can have multiple beta values and multiple alpha values. So here this A4 is nothing but A. A implies this A4 is nothing but A. A. This A4 A4 is nothing but A alpha. This value is nothing but beta one value. This b is nothing but beta two value. So this is in the form a implies a alpha by beta one beta two likewise. So we can replace that with a implies beta a dash. Here what is a? A four. A four implies. Here we have multiple beta values. What is the first beta value? B a three a four. So b a three a four. Here we have a dash, but here in place of a dash, you can write any value like uh, b4 numbering, b4 or z4 or x4. It is our choice. So let us write, let us use the non-terminal b. So a implies beta a dash. So what is beta one? B a three a four. A dash is nothing but z4, where a dash implies that means z4. Uh, we have one more beta. Or what is the second beta here? Second beta means b, so b small b beta a dash. What is a dash? Z four. Let us write that Z four now. Where a dash implies? What is a dash? A dash is nothing but Z four. Z four implies alpha a dash. Here we have single alpha. What is that? A four a four. So a four a four. Where a here we have to replace with a dash implies alpha a dash or epsilon. If the production is in the form a implies a alpha by beta, then we have to replace by a implies beta a dash, where a dash implies alpha a dash. What is a dash? Z four by epsilon. Now here we have epsilon, so now we have to eliminate epsilon. So eliminate Z four implies epsilon. So how to eliminate Z four implies epsilon? Replace each occurrence of Z four with epsilon. So now the production will become a four implies Let us write these two productions as it is first. So B A three A four Z four or B Z four. So B A three A four Z four or B Z four. Now in place of Z four, if we write epsilon, then we will get B A three A four into epsilon. That is nothing but B A three A four. And in place of Z four, if we substitute epsilon, then we will get B. So these are the productions of A four. Now let us observe the productions of Z four. So Z four implies. Let us write that production as it is. A four, A four, Z four. In order to eliminate epsilon only, we are substituting epsilon in place of Z four. In place of Z four, substitute epsilon. Then we will get A four, A four. Z four implies A four, A four, Z four. Or if we observe here, the productions of A four are in GNF form. It is starting with terminal followed by three non-terminals. Starting with terminal followed by one non-terminal. Starting with terminal followed by two non-terminals. Starting with terminal followed by zero non-terminals. There is no problem. But if you observe Z4, Z4 productions are not in valid form. And A1, A2, uh, A1 uh, productions here, A2, A3 productions are already in GNF form only. But uh, A4 productions are already in GNF form. But A1 productions are not in GNF form. A1 productions are Not in GNF form. So now what we can do is we can substitute a four value here in place of a one. We have to sub we can substitute a one value. Already a four productions are in GNF form. Now substitute a four value in a one. Substitute a four value in a one. Then we will get a one productions in GNF. 
So after getting that, we can substitute A4 productions here also. Okay. So first, let us produce, let us make G, Z4 into the uh, GNF. So what is the formula for Z4? A4, A4, Z4 implies A1, A4. So substitute uh, this A4 value in Z4. Substitute, substitute A4 value in Z4. A4 value in Z4. So Z4 implies, what is A4? 1, 2, 3, 4. There are 4 productions associated with A4. What is the first production? B, A3, A4, Z4. In place of A3, we are substituting B, A3, A4, Z4. Additionally, we have A4, Z4. A4, Z4. Or in place of this A4, substitute this production. Now, we will get B, A3, A4, Z4. And additionally, we have A4. Let us write that A4. Okay. So, first production is substituted. Next, what is A4 value? Bz4. In place of A4, substitute Bz4. So, Bz4. Bz4. Additionally, we have A4Z4. A4Z4. Or, next we have BA3A4. In place of A4, substitute BA3A4. So, BA3A4. BA3A4. Additionally, we have A4Z4. A4Z4. Or, in place of A4, substitute BA3A4. So, BA3A4. And additionally, we have A4. R. What is another one? B. In place of A4, if we substitute B, then we will get BA4Z4. So, here you need to write B, BA4Z4. Here, in place of A4, if we substitute B, then we will get A4. If we observe here, BA3A4Z4, terminal followed by non-terminals. Terminal followed by non-terminal. Terminal followed by non-terminal. Okay. So likewise, terminal followed by non-terminals. Terminal followed by non-terminal. So all these productions are in valid GNF form only. Okay. So A4 productions and Z4 productions are, are in GNF form. Now we have to make now we have to make A1 productions as valid GNF. So consider the production A1 now. So consider A1 produces. What is A1? A2, A3 or A4, A4. A4, A4. So, we know A2 value. What is A2 value? A2 value means B. What is A2 value? B. So, B. Let us write that A3. A3 R. What is A4 value? So, these are the productions of A4. Now, let us substitute here. What is the first production? What is the first production? B, A3, A4, Z4. And additionally, we have A4. Let us write that A4. R. What is the another production associated with A4? B, Z4. And additionally, we have A4. And what is one more production? B, A3, A4, Z4. And additionally, we have B. So, in place of A4, if we write B, A4. So, if we observe here, terminal followed by non-terminal, terminal followed by non-terminals, terminal followed by non-terminals, terminal followed by non-terminal, terminal followed by non-terminal. So, all the productions of this grammar are in GNF form. So, after converting this grammar into GNF, what are the productions? Let us write A1 productions. Let us write A1 productions. And then write A2 production already in GNF form. And then write A3 productions. And then write A4 productions and GNF production. So, in this way, we can solve any problem very, very easily. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel and share the channel with your friends. Please guys, thanks for watching.